Uh, it's just a couple of slides. Uh, it's about the personal views. Probably a lot of you are um, do recognize when working and creating a power app that you got the question, oh yeah, it looks quite nice what I can see, but can I make a personal view? Uh, and that was a challenge which I uh, got, got often and then we needed to come up with the real solution for it. Um, and what were the requirements uh, to have a selection, which columns you want to see, uh, th that I need to be able to uh, can kind of change the width of the column and also created the display order. All kind of inspired by the way we, we know we can do that in, in SharePoint as well, but then we wanted to do that in the Power Apps. Uh, a couple of steps we need to take. Uh, we we uh, needed to decide which columns needs to be visible by default. And then we uh, created a list and a, a, a list with the actual data in which you are looking at and working uh, into the app and a, a, a place where we can store the information about a personal view. So that's kind of the background information. So let's move on uh, to a real demo in a Power App example. Um, let's so one moment, I need, need to switch over here. Um, as you can see here, a, a Canvas app uh, with just only the possibility for a personal view. Uh, as a data source, a uh, SharePoint list is used, as we can see over here, just an example of some data in here, uh, which will which we want to see in the Power App as well. Uh, and for this data, we would like to have a personal view available for every person who's working with the Power App. Um, and as um, for the people who can read the screen pretty well, I can zoom in a bit. There's a, another list, the personal views. In this list, the actual data from the personal views is stored, like the user and the settings for the pers personal view. Um, as you can see, this is kind of in, in a done in JSON format. So let's move on to the Power App. So to actually see how that is done and to how to achieve this. On the Power App, there is a loading screen. And on that loading screen, there is a timer set. And on the timer, uh, some data is loaded uh, to actually uh, get the Power App to work properly. Uh, the first steps is to load the data in of the actual data list. In this example, it's the job application tracker list with a couple of columns in it. Next to that, um, we would like to have a default view, whether a user doesn't want to create uh, his or her own view, uh, he still needs to be able to see something. Um, so that's what we created over here. And as you can see here, it's uh, it's a view in which if it's a collection in which we define some columns, like an, an ID, a name, uh, if it should be visible or not, the width, uh, if we can sort that column and the order of the column. And um, while loading the app, we get uh, we also get the data of the personal view list to check whether the logged in user already has a view available or it's, uh, it's a new user or a user without a personal view yet. Uh, and then we create a solution in which we actually store the view we need to display. And when that's done, we automatically navigate to the next screen, like the personal view screen. So let's move on to the personal view screen. Over here, we do see the default uh, view of the data we loaded in the loading screen. Uh, over here, we can see the different kind of columns and the data which in. The, the structure is set up like uh, just a header for component, and then there are some containers in which the data is, is shown. Um, as you can see over here, there is a gallery uh, for the header. For each possible header, there is uh, a text element, like, like we see over here for the job ID, and for everyone there is a, an, uh, a button available to be able to sort that column. And for the actual data that it's loaded, there is another gallery available. And for every uh, text value, there is a column and um, the settings are set to, uh, to get the data from each column. Um, let's dive into some details of the setup over here. Uh, as we can see over here, uh, in the on, on select of the sorting icon, 
or button nowadays, uh, it's it set the column name in which we uh, are able to sort the uh, the gallery beneath it. Over here, we can uh, we can we set the sort column. So in this case, that's the job ID. And as we can see over here in the gallery with the data in it, we use the custom sort kind of variable to uh, ascend, uh, to set the sort order to ascending or descending based on the switch the user makes. Let's click on it. And as you can see now, the one, two, three is the first item. And when I click on it, it's the other way around. The same ID is available for every other um, short icon. Just the, oh, I need to put over here, as you can see. So this is the default view available. So let's move on to uh, this button, the view over here in this side. And you're probably familiar with the SharePoint way of working. It looks a bit like the SharePoint creation of views. Here I can select uh, which columns I would like to see. Uh, so no, city, I, I think that's not relevant for me. And remote, no, not relevant for me. Uh, and I can also change the order. I would like to have the company as the first column. And uh, I also would like to have it like a, a, a larger column. Let's type, going type in the actual demo mode of the app. Um, and then I can click on apply. And the, as you can see over here, the different uh, orders, the different settings are set, like the, the, the width of the columns, the order of the columns. Uh, so I have created my own view and I can always switch back to the default view if I want to see what all my colleagues are seeing as well. And I can click on my view and then I can click on apply and have my own personal view available. And over here, as we I'll move to the uh, apply button and this apply button, it's stored like what's over here. This is a collection. And the apply button just actually saves the uh, the data into the personal view list in SharePoint, which was loaded in the loading screen to check whether I already had a personal view or I there needs to be a new personal view created specially for me. So this is uh, yeah I, I think this is a great way to to kind of uh, add some personalization uh, into uh, into the app. Um, and of course, we can think of, of even uh, um, make this um, uh, to, to, uh, and brought this ID and come up to have some ideas of expanding and improving this concept. Um, and you can think of predefined filters, uh, for example, when only specific country values are relevant for me, uh, or sorting values, and maybe even add the availability to add some custom sorting because every user kind of has, has his or her own kind of wishes in using the app. Um, and this way you can make that available. Uh, so yeah, a kind of good uh, way of thinking uh, to think in a way the user would like to handle the app, uh, different kind of scenarios, different kind of perspectives. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, and I can imagine that it went quite fast just for this couple of last minutes. Uh, I do have uh, written a blog about it uh, in which the details are available. So if you would like to uh, use it in your own app, feel free to use it. And uh, if you do have some questions, please reach out to me and uh, uh, let's make some fun in uh, creating uh, more personal power-ups. <laughs>